Hello, my name is Ben Gormley, and I'm with our worship staff at New Life, and this is NLC Live. So today we're going to read um, the verse Psalm 1-2. Psalm 1 2 says, But whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on his law day and night. Well, notice there's a but in there. That means that there's a verse 1 that's very important to the, to the understanding of verse 2. So let's read verse 1. Verse 1 says, Blessed is the one who does not walk in the step with the wicked, or stand in the way that sinners take, or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on his law day and night. And I love this because I think there's a promise to claim here. And there's also an application we can make. The promise, if you look back to verse 1, is that we'll be blessed if we don't do these things that, that the world says are so important or so, you know, that, that's where life is, is living a sinful lifestyle, getting caught up in the world's idols, success, fame, you know, whatever it is, um, you know, insta. Uh, but who delight in the law of the Lord. That's the truth of God. That's the word of God. So the promise is we're going to be blessed if we delight in God's, God's law, God's word. And there's also an application to make, which it says, meditate on his law day and night. To meditate is not anything spooky. It's just simply focusing your mind on the word of God, the truth of God. Sometimes I know when I, when I uh, get my to-do list in my head and I, I'm kind of on the go and I'm rushing, that's when I tend to get my mind and my thoughts off of God's truth. And I, I, get, I get rushed, I get harried, and a lot of times my son will tell me if, if I'm kind of barking out orders to him and Ari, uh, just get in the car, do this, get, get in the bath, or whatever, you know, he'll be like, Daddy, you're speaking harshly to us. And then I'm like, okay, buddy, you know, and then I realize, wow, I've, I've really gotten off track and I have to kind of repent to the Lord and to my kids. I'm sorry, I've been yelling at you, you know. Um, but that's because I haven't been meditating on on God's God's word. And so that's simply... I think a lot of times repentance is a lot easier than, than, than this big thing we make it. It's just simply like, okay, God, I'm sorry. Let me get right back on track, you know. Um, and, I, you know and I'm back in living in the spirit again. Um, so that's, one of, that's our application. Meditate on his law day and night. Something that helps me is honestly having like a, a track, a plan on you version. I've been going through the one-year Bible. I've done that for a few years now. And just doing that every morning, just having like getting my mind focused on the word of God right uh, right, right off the bat in my mornings, it just focuses me so much. And usually, I mean, it's like without fail, there's, there's a word in there that really helps me overcome something that day or, or um, just gets me focused on God's track for me uh, that day and helps me keep in, in, in line, you know, with, with God's will, God's good, pleasing, and perfect will. So, um, so that's it. Let's, let's meditate on his law day and night and delight in and the truth that God has for us, because he has great plans for us. Let me pray over us. God, just thank you for your word that guides us, that directs us. God, I pray that um, each person listening to this, God, would just be encouraged to, to look into your word, God, to delight in your word. Um, and we just give you all the glory. In Jesus' my name, all God's people said, amen.